Yeah. I'll just call your doctor and find out if it's required or it's not required. Yeah, is it? Yeah, I want to show. I want to show you this bread that we've been making, pretty much every other day or every day, because we are not liking the loaf much. So we've been making this bread at home. Um, so this is the bread. Um, it's just, it's the it's the same bread that when I make bread, I make it with um, loaf. I make loaf with the same recipe. I make fried bread with the same recipe like I just don't change much of the recipe sometimes here and there I can add a little or more sugar or a little or more salt but otherwise the recipe is the same so this bread tastes very very nice so that's what I'm gonna be having for breakfast I'll show you what I'm eating it with so this is the breakfast I like one egg with the runny yolk like this and then I just like to do this oh my goodness just this and then Mommy. eat it oh this bread is amazing hello guys um i hope you guys are doing well i have an update to do for you guys and things at this point are, are very unpredictable uh, my pregnancy at this point is very unpredictable i thought the last video that i made i was feeling so much better that i was thinking that first trimester is when I suffer second trimester I should be fine the day after I recorded that video things started to be so bad and yesterday it was the worst I felt I I threw up but my throwing up this time was a little different it had some like some traces and streaks of blood in it um, I was not alarmed that is because when I was very sick with Caleb and Joshua I saw some blood too and it was never something that I was worried about so even when I saw that blood I was like huh and some days I also have I mean the day before yesterday I had some some problems with my nosebleed I've been having problems with nosebleed but not like pouring blood but every time I'm blowing my nose it will always be blood um, it's one of the things that I noticed with my pregnancies my pregnancy with my with the twins and with this baby <laughs> mommy is busy so I'm noticing now the similarities between the twins and this baby I'm still don't know why this baby is making me suffer because it's only one baby but uh, it's sad it's sad now I mean sad pregnancy for sure um some days I cry I'm not gonna act like I'm always strong some days I'm stronger because it makes me think that this is temporary but some days I just get so frustrated um there's nothing worse than feeling miserable the entire day you wake up miserable you sleep up miserable there's nothing that can that can make you be prepared for that and it, it has put a lot of things in perspective I'm not gonna lie um, I know relatives that are sick all day and I tell my husband I say honey to think that these people feel this way all day long for, for Mulonga it makes me really have what do you call it gratefulness like thankfulness in my heart that at least this is temporary at least I'm three I'm gonna be three months in the next few days and it's gonna be I'm left with six months and <laughs> it makes me think that oh six months I'll be done that people that actually have this year all year long and they're never having rest and my husband and I have talked about that and we're like wow then I need to be thankful because this is temporary and my husband even added and said um, you, you don't even know maybe you're just gonna suffer for three months or maybe you're gonna just suffer for four months and it'll be done so it has put in me the thankfulness in me to just understand that this is temporary another thing that i've been receiving emails from you guys telling me that no i'm 10 weeks pregnant i'm so sick did you figure out anything guys i wish i could tell you anything i did not figure out anything to make myself feel better you guys know that last time i shared the trick of ice that helped me to speed and ice has worked a little bit and now it doesn't work as much but it ha for that time that it went I took advantage of it so it's it's rough it's um it's a rough baby I mean I already have a name for the baby <laughs> I say honey you know only name children based on circumstances this is what we are talking about when we name children affliction when we name children this this baby is making my life rough and I jokingly, I jokingly tell my husband I said I think I have a name for this baby this is rough 
<laughs> Baby, hey, see, we're taking hey, a picture. Hey, hey guys, hey. guys, we're taking a picture for Instagram. Hey, see, see, hi guys. Hi guys. How are you doing? I'm fine. No, you ask them how are you doing. Mama. Huh? Oh, dance for them. Oh, Mojoshi. Oh, daddy. Our cameraman is coming. Take a picture for us for our Instagram. Monkey, can you please be good? Come here, guys. We need to take a picture for. Say hi, guys. Yes, picture for Instagram. That's it, down. Huh. Hello. Hello. Cheese. Hello. Okay, Monkey wants to say hello. My camera, say hello. Cheese. Say hello. Cheese. 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 Okay, cheese. Hello. Joshua, come with you. Seriously, you are bigger one. Caleb, come and take a picture. Uh, take a picture. Say, say, please subscribe. Subscribe, cheese. Say, no, you have to say, cheese. please subscribe. Please subscribe. Please like. Please like. Please like. Please like. I love you. I love you guys for me. Look at this. Joshua, why is your face so. I have to put Vaseline on you, honey. Did you put Vaseline on the twins? Guys, my husband has not put lotion on the baby's faces, huh? Mommy. Huh? What? Ah. We're trying to take your Instagram picture. Hey, Mikey. Mama, huh? What do you think of all this, Mikey? Cheese. Cheese. <laughs> what do you think of all this, Joshua? You press. I it's fun. Fun. It's Cheese. fun. Kayla, what do you think of all this? Cheese. 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 Mommy, you know why? I like cheese. You know why I'm cheese. trying to do. Oh, come here. Oh, my cheese. Oh, my cheese. <laughs> Guys, I'm taking pictures for Instagram. Oh, out. <laughs> Are you that happy? Oh, you're working out. Joshua, you see, Joshua and Caleb need some Vaseline in their faces. Michael, it's fun because I'm the man, mommy's the one that put them lotion. Huh? We are like funny. It's funny? It's funny. You're getting cold. <laughs> Let's go to the house. Let's go to the house. Joshua, you want to go to the house, Caleb? No. You don't want to? Not yet. Not yet? So, this is what I'm doing, like, um, Instagram Mama, pictures. Here. Yes, let me talk to my subscribers, okay? I'll be back. Let me talk to let me talk to my lovely subscribers. The main reason why I'm starting to do Instagram, and by the way, please, if you're not following me on Instagram, please, please follow me on Instagram. So the other day, I was just like, because I wanted to take my YouTube stuff, like influencing, whatever you want to. Hold hey, up, my talking, please. Don't distract me. The Instagram like thing, I mean, influencing seriously. So I've been having a manager that I liked, but I wanted to look at something different. To see, can I find people that are more like serious and everything? So I contacted, I contacted these people that I wanted to work with because I saw them that they really like delivered as far as having a lot of brand deals. Their clients were working with companies like Walmart, Target, and all the stuff. So I wanted to really like take it seriously and all that stuff. And I, I because I, I thought that I have a big following enough to really like have that kind of representation. I mean, other people do, but for some reason, I did not do that. So I contacted them. I said, oh, can you please? They, they rejected me. They said that, oh, they actually with Instagram, they start with 20,000 followers. Can mommy talk, please? They say that they, they start with like people that have 20,000 followers on Instagram and I feel like I have not been like, I mean, I've been a lot more rebellious in the sense that I felt like, oh, I can just do whatever I want with Instagram and I'll grow. But I noticed that, what, 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 is, the, what is the English way? Like, for, like if you want to join them, if you want to succeed, join the, the crowd. What is the, what is the English way? So, Are you talking about if you can't beat them, join them? Yeah, if you cannot beat them, join them. You cannot just come there without... Even for me though, it was... I couldn't... I felt like I could not relate to the... To the world there. I feel like it's more sophisticated. One thing about... Yo, stand up. Don't cry. So you guys, after I learned that, I was so bummed that 
I thought people when they look at my channel with the engagement and stuff like that, they'll actually think that it's it's up there. But unfortunately, it's why is this thing missing? So when people look at my channel, I thought that having over 100,000 subscribers was enough But according to, now I'm learning, according to a lot of managers and a lot of um, agencies They actually now say that um, after the pandemic Because the pandemic really hit a lot of companies very hard That they wanted to lower their budget That they wanted to, more, to go to Instagram more I didn't know that part, but I learned that as I went on. So I was like, you know what? I want to tell you the reality. So they were saying that um, the people who like, want to take like now Instagram more seriously, brands take the want to work with Instagram influencers more now than with YouTube influencers because for some reason YouTube is a lot more expensive than Instagram because Instagram sometimes is just to post a picture um, um, sometimes you'll be working with a big, big brand you just need a picture to show off their product and that explains why a lot of big influencers were leaving more YouTube and focusing more on Instagram I used to think that it was just preference but no it's because People make more money today on Instagram than on YouTube unless if they're doing with ads and stuff and I didn't know that stuff until it hit home so if by the way if you are trying if influencing also focus on Instagram and TikTok. So yeah, that's one that's what I learned and I was like, okay I think I guess now it's more like the, what my husband said if you cannot beat them drain them So I think now I'm gonna take my Instagram seriously It is to reach that milestone of 20,000 followers and hopefully that company will, will, will take me again So I mean will, will, will accept me. I don't know but please Follow me on Instagram to help me reach 20,000 subscribers followers. I'm at 17 followers though 17,000 so that's something. I'm left with 3,000 followers. So uh, that's what I want to start taking it seriously. So this influ this YouTube influencing job is very, very strange, I'm telling you. Yeah, uppercase R and lowercase R, right? And a little up there. Hey guys, how are you doing? Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm, I'm just, my mind is just starting to freak out. I, I received a, 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 a call from from one of the specialists they want to do a consultation for like birth defects and stuff like that and my mind is kind of freaking out like why do they not want to do that and I mean my doctor told me before that it's better to know than do everything so they're gonna put me through a good ultrasound that is very good but the funny thing is that OBGYMs are so different. When I was pregnant with the twins, my OBGYN never did all those kind of things. But she said honestly that she had never delivered a woman that does not have legs, that is double amputee. But she said, well, if we can push, we'll try it. We'll do it. And I was able to do it, of course, but never went through all those things. But I went through ultrasounds, of course, to check the babies because I was high risk to check the cervix and stuff. The second pregnancy, OBGYN was good. She was so, she didn't say, she didn't even take me to any high risk or anything. She didn't even talk about birth defects. She didn't even talk about anything like that. And so it went smoothly. She went in like a, a very simple, easy pregnancy. Like if there's birth defect, we'll find out in the future kind of thing. She didn't want to freak me out. This one is freaking me out. From the beginning, I mean, I think she was kind of appalled, like a shock, like, oh, she doesn't have legs. Okay, okay. Um, is this even hereditary? Okay, okay. But we have seen the baby in the ultrasound. I mean, I saw the legs, I saw the little hands. But she wants to be, what do you call it, sure? My question is like, the, so I have a consultation in like a few weeks. So my mind is so freaking out. Like for me, I'm the person that prefers to just go smoothly and find that at the end of the road. Um, I don't want to look at stuff to freak me out and stuff like that. So at this point, I'm kind of like a little sad and freaking out. Um, 
like what's up so that now i want to call her and um ask her like is there anything that you saw that what makes you want to be concerned or do you just want to do it just to be sure like where is it in? what happens if i refuse this consultation like what are we going through this thing and what i mean they she, i mean for me i always say this no matter the situation abortion is never an option so i don't like to be put in a situation that usually they put women that believe in abortion and stuff like that so i kind of like to just like see that in the future like right now i'm praying so hard in my heart i'm praying so hard i'm freaking out i'm actually right now it's um it's um 110 right now um they're still at lunch i want to call her i was about to eat and then when they let me call me and told me the appointment my heart just started freaking out so i don't know i don't know guys so honey how are you feeling ah, just freaking out yeah, yeah i think it's better to call her like what? i mean she told me way before all this test i mean before all the stuff i feel like she's just for me i don't know why do we have to go through all these kind of tests you know so that's kind of freaking me out. So it's amazing. What, what I want to say is that it's amazing how doctors are so different. That they will put you through all these um, different tests and stuff. And I mean, I'm not saying that is to be sure. But what's the point of finding out how the child looks like today as opposed to finding out in the future? Wouldn't it be better to, to, to make the child, I mean, the, the pregnant mother, like, have a smooth pregnancy and she'll find out a surprise at the end? They're looking for a reason to board. Huh? Unless they're looking for, and looking for the reason to abort, exactly. Which is not the case. Which is not something. So I think she, they, 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 they just freaked, I'm just freaked out. Hopefully, I'm freaked out for nothing. And I feel like three weeks is so far. Is it three weeks? Yeah. Three weeks is so far to even get this consultation, guys. Please pray for me. Pray for me. So yeah, I'm surprised that they. And they better be. It better be covered with insurance. Huh. When w w they, we had something similar to this, but not from our OBGYN, but from the hospital of the twins, they had the consultation for the twins, and this got there. You know how in the doctors they will get in your room and say consultation about the twins, telling us about how our twins may have brain damage, all this bad news consultation, and we're hit with the bill. That was not even covered by the insurance so my question is like is this gonna even be covered by the insurance or is just another thing to freak me out again and you know, stuff like that so that is what is going on let me know in the comments below if we've had this kind of consultation what were you thinking were they even covered by the insurance because if they're not covered by the insurance i don't want to do that especially if, if something that i'm already freaking out before i even meet, meet the people for the consultation and it's gonna take three weeks and what if they freak me even more that means the pregnancy will be so stressful yeah i'll just call your doctor and find out if it's required or it's not required yeah is it required and just cancel it yeah because I feel like if I can't, I prefer peaceful pregnancy. I don't prefer, I, I, I prefer, I don't prefer, I mean with twins I understand. But sometimes we have to see if another twin is eating enough, another one is eating enough. But if it's one baby, I don't think we need to go through all these things. I think me not having the legs freaks out doctors. I feel that I'm pregnant. People, it, it always freaks people out. Like, oh, was this hereditary? Was this like, um... Is it hereditary? Is that the right word? Was this like the thing and then the people like start to... Some doctors are fine. Like my second doctor, my, with the doctor for Michael, we don't even know anything. Like we just like found the gender eventually. But if we, not, if we decided not to find the gender, we are not going to even do all these ult big ultrasounds. She was like, you know what? You are doing well. We'll just keep on checking you. This one is more. But yeah, the second one was a partner to the first one. Yeah. They consult each other. She knew everything about the first person. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. The, the second doctor was the partner to the first doctor. And your medical record. Was and the wrong. first one was the one that recommended the second one. So they never really had that kind of um, worries and everything. So she went like that. So this one is a very brand new one. And possibly she's never um, delivered a woman like me. And understandably so. And my mind right now is really, really like, um, 
really freaking out so just wanted to share that with you guys and hopefully put me in your prayers and let's wait for three weeks but right now i'm gonna try to call him because i need to hear like is there anything i could be worried about or is this just a consultation out of nowhere like it's just like i have to consult and just do these things i mean i had a birth defect i understand but you know what i mean these are the things that just are freaking me out so that's what's going on right now anyways bye